Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about Chevy's newest creation in 1950, 58 is to be exact, the Impala came out. And a convertible to boot give you all the details in but a moment. <laughs> Well, greetings and salutations from Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota, the place where we have absolutely beautiful, wonderful cars, and we're going to show you the newest addition to our inventory, a 1958 Impala convertible. Talk about something that's really special. Oh man, you're going to want to watch this video from start to finish because we do a walk around, give you all the details, and we even do a cold start so you can hear how that dual exhaust actually does sound rather, rather than just looking at pictures. So you're going to want to watch the video, and if you want to click on the link in our description, it'll take you right to our website. And if you go to our website, which is www ellingsunmotorcars.com you'll have all the information on this car pricing and all the other details plus you have access to our over 100 cars trucks vehicles collectibles that we currently have on our sales floor here in rogers now we have stuff going back into the 20s all the way up into the 80s and beyond so if you're looking for your first or your 100th classic or collectible vehicle Odds are Ellingson perhaps has it sitting on the sales floor right now. If you're looking for that 58 Impala and you said, I really want something special, I want a top dog, if you will, a 1958, well, we have it sitting right here on our sales floor. An anniversary gold metallic, beautiful color, just excellent all the way around. And this is one of those cars that someone really did it right. You know what I mean? They just, because everything back in the 1950s and beyond whatever, you had to order everything special. If you wanted the big motor, which this car has, the 348, and it's got the tri-power on it to boot. I mean, you're talking a performance motor in 1958. First time those came out, first time in the Impala. Man, you got everything going for you. Plus, they added power brakes. It looks like a little newer system, but you know what? I'm not opposed to a newer system with the dual master cylinder, simply because those old single master cylinders, when, when your brakes failed with those, your brakes failed. You crashed. There was no ifs, ends, or buts. That's why a dual master cylinder and power brakes is really good. It also has power steering. Another nice thing, I mean, this is a big car. I mean, back in the day, it wasn't necessarily a big car, but today, in my way of thinking, this is a, a substantial automobile, needless to say. Now, the other thing that you can do, which they didn't have this option in 1958, of course, is we have their wide white wall radial tires. It is just a wonderful improvement in the overall handling, overall ride, comfort, whatever. It really makes this car a standout to run and drive. Now, it is hooked up behind it, automatic transmission, you got the power glide, so anybody can basically jump in this car and drive it to wherever you want to go. You want to go to the local car show, you want to drive cross country, odds are, probably the gas mileage wouldn't be the world's best thing, but you have to remember in 1958, gas was probably 25 cents a gallon for premium, uh, give or take. It wasn't quite the issue, and it's really not something people really concern themselves for the most part on these collector cars. Many people have asked me, what kind of gas miles do you get? You know, it's one of those cars you drive on special occasions, just enjoy it, and that's what I always tell people to do. But yes, so the other thing that when you had this car, like I said, you had to order, you wanted what motor, what transmission, now you got all the extras, you got power steering, power brakes. You want to have the wide white walls, you want the spinner hubcaps. And this particular car even has dual outside spotlights. Now there's an unusual option that I have to say you just don't see very often. And the spotlights, of course, everyone says, what were they for? It was when you wanted to see in town, you were trying to find a house number or whatever, it gave you the opportunity to read the house numbers. We didn't have as many street lights and all that stuff that we have today. So one of those extra things that people did, it was just another one of those quote unquote novelties. But take a look at this. Being a convertible, it is exceptionally nice the interior. It's got the tri-tone cloth and vinyl interior with the gold carpet, gold dash. 
someone has really kept this car very, very pristine in terms of you know, original instrumentation. It looks like they had the, an original radio in place. Uh, the, the horn ring, and they were notoriously broken on these cars for whatever reason. This one's in perfect, pristine shape, to say the least. Beautiful boot, you got the power top at the mere touch of a button, you can put the top up in, in a very short amount of time in case you plan poorly and you happen to get caught in the rain. Uh, the other thing this car has, two other nice options, it's got the Continental kit. Boy, I'll tell you what, I mean that was really kind of a status symbol, it really added class to your car back in 1958. Plus, they added the dual uh, antennas on the back with the dual exhaust, dual antennas. I mean, dual spots. I mean, this thing was loaded for bear. Dual outside mirrors, even. Again, all stuff that you had to pick and choose when you were signing up, when you were ordering. and said, well, I want skirts as well. Yep, got skirts also. Lots of room in this trunk. If you got to haul a couple of sets of golf clubs to the local club, really nice. Lots of room in there for you, for sure. Now, you can find all of our stuff on Facebook. YouTube, Instagram, and now even TikTok. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much and you'll find this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, you'll find some of the stuff we've sold over the years as well. So if you really have time to peruse the internet, you like to look at old cars, we've really had some gems over the last several years. So take a look at those sites if you got the time. Now, if you're like me, I'm gonna say, you know, man, I really like the video, I love everything, but I gotta come down and see it in person. I'm just one of those hands-on kind of guys too, you know, I just like to see them, touch them, whatever, make sure they're real. They are definitely real. It is real metal. Uh, American iron right here. You know, come on down to Ellingson's. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So happy to have you come down and look in person and take a look at this really, really nicely done car. Southern car, nice and clean. You know, the other thing, if you look at all our pictures, you'll see underside pictures, engine compartment details. Watch this video, you'll get a real good feel for this automobile. And for Chevrolet, 1958 was a big changeover year. I mean, everything on this car has changed from a 1957 with the single headlights. Man, everything went to the dual headlights and it went to the six taillights. I mean, it was a complete change, longer, wider, more, you know, kind of the direction Chevrolet was gonna go for many years moving forward, started in 1958. And that's what it is. Now, if you're me or like me, if I own a car like this, I would join the Chevrolet club. I would join your local GM club. What, get to know the people there because there's always Mr. Wrench there, someone you can ask questions, or the car club, the national group. You know, there's always people you can go to if you have questions about the car. You can call us anytime as well, 763-428-7337, and I'll do my very best to answer any and all questions you may have. Now you say, well, I love the car. I live in California. I want to get the car out to me. Can you help? Absolutely, we ship cars all over the United States, never a problem, we can get that done for you, hands down. You say, well, where do you go to get a car like this financed? We have several sources for that as well, with people who actually know what collector cars are. So if you're looking for those questions to be answered, like I said, by all means, email us, give us a call, text us, whatever you wanna do, we're here to serve you. So there you go, this is a 1958 Impala convertible, big block, I mean, it's got everything. If you're looking for that dream car and this should be sitting in your garage, we have it right now on the sales floor at Ellingson Motor Cars. Remember our website being ellingsonmotorcars.com and thank you again and see you next time.